Hello my fellow witches out there and warlocks. We are going to be painting something super fun today for Splat and Chat. I need to get rid of this accent. Grab your canvases. We're going to paint something fun if you can't tell by what I'm wearing today. <laughs> We're going to be painting a witch. And the fun thing about this witch is you don't need any pattern or anything to show you. I'm just going to show you in shapes how to paint this figure of a witch. She's really cute. This is kind of fun. Anyway, so get ready, get set, get ready for this cute witch. Always start out with a paper plate. This one's actually clean, which is amazing. I don't have any paint on it yet. Couple sizes of brushes, a big, a medium flat brush, two flat brushes, a big flat brush, a medium black flat brush, and a little skinny round brush is usually what I use. I might throw another one in there, but these are my normals. So if you have these three, pretty much can create anything. Clean paper towel and your water. Uh, an inch full. You don't want it to be, oops, if you can see that. Inch full. You don't want it to be too full or you'll, you know, go overboard and spill it all over yourself, which I'm not saying I've done before. I have. <clears throat> okay, anyway, let's go on. Okay, so <laughs> several times. Okay, we're gonna start this really cool painting with some greens. Okay, so get like this color. Oh, let me show you what colors we're using. Kind of a Kelly green. This is called shamrock green, actually. Um, a lime green and then a yellow, a green, a black. Okay, I love greens. This is my favorite color of green, that lime color. Anyway, I thought we'd do some green in our painting today. It'll be a fun kind of thing. This is another fun Halloween one today. I'm excited to show you. So start with some greens on your palette and your yellow. Okay, a couple colors of yellow, a couple colors of green. Do you see my palette? Okay, and it doesn't matter if they mix because we're going to mix them anyway here on the board. Grab your biggest brush, wet it down a little bit. Okay, ooh, I got blue on my brush, you see that? Woo hoo! Okay, anyway. So we're gonna start with a start green at the top. I'm just gonna brush this back and forth all over your painting. Make sure you're getting the top. Dark green, Kelly green first. Okay. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Get your sides and your top. Okay, there we go. Rinse that out. It's got I have too much in it. If it didn't have a lot of paint in it, it's fine. But mine had way too much green in it, so I'm rinsing out that green. I'm going to pick up some of my light, bright lime green color and I'm going to rub that into that next. Okay. So I just kind of take it right into that paint line. And that's what makes me have this really cool haze between the two. Don't go underneath of it. Don't create like a step ladder here. We're just rub it right into that other paint there. Okay. Get your sides again. Okay, there we go, there we go. You'll still have that darkness above and the lightness below, even though you're kind of mixing the colors. And if you mix it too much, you can always come back and add more green on top of it. Okay, but there I'm gonna keep that green because it's not too dark of a green. Pick up some yellow in it. And I'm going to put some yellow right down in the bottom here. All the way down to the rest of the bottom here. It's going to be yellow. Well, almost bottom. About an inch away. I'm again using one of those 8x10 canvases, which is a really fun thing to use for these videos because they're small and they paint it quick. But you can do something bigger or paint on something completely different. Try that yellow way up into the green now again. And yeah, it's a really cool sunset. Halloween sunset. There we go. Easy enough. Rinse the brush. I've loaded some black onto my palette. I've rinsed my brush. I'm ready to put my big brush into my black and we're going to create a fun little hill landscape at the bottom of our painting. So I kind of just kind of like to curve mine up just a little bit right there in the middle and then bring it back down again just to give it to look like um, ground and land. And no, it does not have to be perfect. I kind of like the personality of bumps and wiggles in the ground there. Okay, make sure you get your sides, your bottom now, getting all that painted. Okay. There we go. Beautiful black scape at the bottom there. Rinse out that big brush because I think we're done with it. So get that cleaned. Which way did she go? Which way does she go? Using my little tiny brush right here next. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. You guys notice how much I paint the canvas. As much as I paint the canvas, I paint myself. <laughs> it's awful. I'll tell you. 
I am a messy painter. But hey, it looks it's you gotta make a ma mess in order to make a masterpiece, right? That's what I say. Anyways, more that's my rule. <laughs> okay, take your little brush, dip it in water, get it a little bit wet, or dry it off. Then you're gonna make these posts with black. Okay, we're gonna start about right here. I'm gonna make a graveyard kind of scene. You guys, you could do trees on the side. I've taught you how to make trees. You could do some fun Halloween trees, but I'm gonna make these kind of thicker Halloween posts. What's your bumpity and rickety, just like Halloween, which I love. And make a little, I'm gonna make a little top to them. Maybe like a little square on each top, but rickety. I don't want them to be perfect. And then put a little knobby at the top of them. Okay, that is my cemetery graveyard stand here. Or fence. Then I'm gonna make some smaller, uh, skinnier ones that kind of come off of it, and they're kind of all which ways. Okay. Like that. There's gonna be my poles to my graveyard. Then I'm gonna take some more of that black, and I'm just gonna cross through these these um, posts, cross, making sure they're crossing each one. Okay. Just here and there. I'm picking up yellow from behind, which is fun because it gives it some fun light and darkness on top of my fence. But if you wanted to dry in between each layer, you could totally do that as well. Okay. So that broken up line, it looks really cool. Don't worry about making everything perfect, especially in a Halloween painting. Okay. You want it to kind of look rickety and weird and whatever. Okay. So there's my graveyard fence. So I'm going to show you how to make a really cute figured witch here. Okay. I'm going to rinse out this brush. I'm actually going to get my medium sized brush here, my flat brush. I'm teaching me how to make a really cute shape for a figure or for a witch. So she's going to have kind of a triangular bottom. Okay, this is her skirt. She starts kind of triangulish. Triangulish. <laughs> triangulicious. She starts triangulicious. She comes down, we're going to kind of round out the triangulicious like that. Okay, kind of end it at the bottom to look like a skirt here. That is the first shape you need for this cute witch, okay? And you can make it as thin as you want to by just thinning out her waist. Let me kind of come up here and show you this. The more you thin out her waist, she can become thinner or thicker, just whatever you want to do, okay? From there, we're gonna make another triangle that comes up above that one. So it's just opposite direction. So here's a triangle, here's a triangle. That's the next triangle you're gonna need, okay, right there. From there, I'm gonna switch my brush because it gets, well, let me do one more thing. I'm gonna give her her head. So do a little circle, but not right touching the triangle. It's kind of up above the triangle. There's her head, okay? I want to show you these cute dancing witches. Aren't those so fun? Can you see them? All these cute little witch shapes dancing under this tree. So fun and so Halloween. -y. This Halloweeny. Oh. This is on my Etsy shop as well for print. And you can get this, copy this print, or you can just check it out and add some little things, fun things to your witchy painting. But yeah, check out my shop down below in the link. Let's get back to our painting, shall we? Let's get Okay, so I'm switching brushes to this little guy for now. Okay, I've got two triangles and a circle, and I'm gonna give a little bit of a neck to this cute witch. Here's her cute little neck, okay? Just the line that connects the two. I'm gonna give her kind of a cranky hat. You can make it fold over, or you can make it be pointy on top. This one I'm gonna kind of make pointy so you can see it's just a triangle, but I'm gonna make it a rickety triangle, okay? Triangle shape again. And you can, also, you can always tip the triangle and make it kind of a crunked hat. There's the triangle on top of her head, okay? But it's rickety because I like rickety stuff for Halloween. And then give her a rim, which kind of comes out like this, around her hat. Like that. Okay, there's her rim of her hat. We're gonna give her a cute little arm that comes right at the top of that triangle. And it comes down to about right here, and then she's gonna put it, her hand onto her hip, just by coming back down like that. Okay, there's one hip or one hand, and this one's gonna kind of be the same thing—a triangle that comes down. Comes back up right there. That is our cute witch shape. Okay. We're gonna give her a little bit of hair. However you wanna do hair, short hair, long hair, scraggly hair, curly hair, whatever kind of hair you're in the mood for. Make sure you fill it in really good right around her face and head because that's where the hair is the thickest. Okay, and she kinda comes out. Give her a little bit down through there. And I'm gonna give her just a little bit of bangs too, because I think that's fun. Okay, there's a little bit of her bangs. And maybe a little nose on the side, just a little bit of a, 
you know how witches' noses are. They can be crazy and whatever. So there's that. I'm going to give her a broom. So we're going to start up here and make a curl up here. Come down. Remember, rickety, rickety. It can be rickety. That's my broom shape. See how cool that is? Give it a little bit of a boom at the top. Boom at the top. I don't know what I'm saying. And then fan it out down the bottom. That's her broom down there. Okay, that's her broom. Give her a little bit of a hand here that kind of is holding her broom. Okay, just by making a big knot of paint there. It's fine. Okay, I'm going to show you the cat. Okay, I'm going to put a cat sitting right here. He's going to be a cute cat sitting off and staring off into the sunset too. Or into the sky. He's going to kind of be a gumdrop shape. Okay. With a little extra hip right here on the side. Okay, gumdrop with a little hip. A little round head like so. Some cute little pointy ears. Okay, and then I'm going to give him a little tail, but his tail's going to swoop down and then up. He's got a big tail, not a little tail. Anyway, there he is. Okay, he's sitting on that fence with his witch, with his witch lady. Okay, there's our cute, fun little figures. I'm going to kind of darken in some of those fence post parts. Okay, and now that's pretty much done. We're going to add a little bit of gray to it in places just to highlight some stuff. Okay, so get some gray on your palette. Darker gray. And we're going to kind of highlight. So I'm taking my little tiny brush again. I'm going to give her a little bit more of a swoop of her skirt here. Comes down in front of her broom. Okay, and it's going to kind of come in front. So just kind of, just give it some grays around in it. I'm going to give her a little bit of gray right there through her skirt. I'm going to bring a little gray down through here. Right on the top, kind of where the sun would be hitting her. Or that moon or the stars or whatever she's got going on. Okay, let's give a little bit through her face here and her nose, a little bit of gray right on the front of her hat here. The more that you let that black dry, the more that the gray will show up better. So it just depends on how much you want to do. Okay, let's do a little bit of grays right through there to kind of get in front of her face a little bit. There we go. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit right through there. Oh, is that fun? Okay, we're going to do a little bit on the um, posts here. A little bit of gray. We're gonna do a little bit on her um, rickety broom, and here I can make this little spot between. Don't go in front of her skirt on that one because the broom is kind of in front. Okay, give the cat a little bit of gray on him too in spot. Just a little highlight on him. Okay, and you know what? It would be fun too. I said we're almost done, but I think we need to be looking at something, right? The witch needs to be looking at something. So. I would say get a little bit of white and create something in the fun in the sky, some stars, something fun. Now here's a way to create stars. You probably could have done this before you even started, but grab a paintbrush that's a little bit damp, get a white on it or blue or something and you're going to flick stars on. Just take a little bit of paint, a little bit of water in there, take your finger and just make these fun. Just barely flick these things. This can get a little messy, so be crazy. don't be crazy. Okay, and now see she's got stars on her now because I did it too late. But do that before you even begin and it will give you some fun stars. Another way to do some stars is just take your little paintbrush. Paint on some cute little little um, crisscrossies in the sky here. You can even do little tiny dots that are a little bit bigger. You can make a constellation. You can make whatever you want in the sky that she's off staring at. Okay, so there is, that is the easy way to paint a witch and a cat shape without any pattern or anything else like that. So she's done, what do you think? Just a series of shapes, triangles, rectangles, squares, circles, and you got this gorgeous cute little witch shape figure. Um, I was gonna tell you, add a few more things, a moon, some stars, the sky to add a little bit more fun in there. If you guys want to add some more things that are fun and you want some ideas, check out my Izzy shop. I'll put the link below and you can see all my different witches pictures. I've got several and there's lots of bazoogle ideas of things to add to your witches. Um, pots and cauldrons and um, I don't, bats and witches wands and all kinds of things. So add some fun stuff to your painting. Check out that. And I think that's it. So until next time, my little pretties. <laughs>